Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the White Deer Filmmaking Podcast, um, sponsored by the White Deer International Film Festival. Um, I am Mark Wisdom, um, one of the festival's co-directors and also an actor, sort of a producer as well, um, and I'm here with Alistair Elton. Uh, who... <laughs> Sorry, Alan. <laughs> uh, who's Alistair Elton, so another, co- another co-director for the festival and also a director, writer, all around good guy. Thank you very much. I appreciate <laughs> and it. And also, somewhere in the background, we have Adam Sandy, who does a bit, does a bit of the tech. No. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <That's another. laughs> um, oh, we should probably start this again, should we? No, it's fine. Um, another Adam Sandy, who honestly we couldn't thank enough because he's our tech guy, uh, festival co-director, but also very much um, an amazing director of photography, cinematographer, and yeah. Hello, Adam. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, so today on the podcast, we have a very, very good, in, um, I mean, they're all good podcasts, but uh, today we, we're speaking to Naomi Dursel, who honestly, I think was quite, uh, she surprised me for sure with just how much um, kind of her approach to filmmaking, very, very much Absolutely. about sincerity yeah. and, and wanting to do something different. So we'll get straight to it. Um, yeah. Enjoy the podcast. Just a quick word of warning. At some point during this episode, (laughs) you will hear a very brief alarm, uh, which we included to be a a timer to make sure we didn't run over. So apologise if you do hear that. Um, My fault. Sorry. We will try to avoid that in future. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Enjoy the episode. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the White Deer International Film Festival's podcast. We are here with Naomi Dussel, who is... um, representing her film The Bird Room. The Bird Room won the best art direction at our festival's uh, September-October season. I'm Alistair Railton, director, writer and festival director. I'm sat alongside my friend Mark Wisdom, who is also a festival director and actor. And in the background we have Adam Sandy, who will be monitoring our tech and is one of our other festival directors. So welcome, welcome Naomi, to our, uh, to our podcast. Lovely to have you here with us. Same for me. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah um, like we were saying just before we came on, we're very impressed um, with uh, the Bird Room, and congratulations on winning your award. Um, I guess the first question would be: so, how did you get started as a as a filmmaker, or what would you call yourself? Would it be director? Um, I think you wrote the film as well, did you? Yeah, I wrote it and uh, I call myself, well, it's difficult to call (laughs) myself a director because I just finished study uh, last June Mm. uh, and I studied filmmaking in a a French speaking uh, film school in in Belgium Mm -hmm. and I studied for a filmmaker director. But we, uh, we also um, uh, write our films, so we learn writing and directing and uh, yeah. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Yeah. Um, well, I think one of the things that we were very impressed with was the fact that this was a film that you did whilst you were studying. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think that presented any challenges or were you helped in a significant way by um, the place that you studied at? Was it was it a help or, um, yeah, was there anything that was provided to you in terms of assistance or anything? Yeah, so uh, we I had a, a lot of help because uh, the good thing is that we so we p- build a, um, a an, uh, team with the mm-hmm. people of the school. So we work with uh, other students that studying for for example um, image or sound uh, assistant. Not really. So for the assistant, for example, a, a director's assistant, I had to find some someone from. Um, so somewhere else, not in the school, but anyway, we 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 build a, a um, team with other students. So that's quite easy, and we had we have also some uh, teachers that help us. But the, with this movie, I feel like still um, it was a little bit. Um, it was not easy to make this movie in the cinema school because, uh, for sure, we don't push us to make that kind of movies. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> So uh, for this, I had to to do it a little bit on my own and um, and keep, you know um, take the liberty to make this movie. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, it came out very well. You've got to admit, in the end, it was uh, 
I think it was yeah. it was brilliant. I'd, I'd be very curious to know though. Um, so, uh, how did you sort of come up with the uh, the story? You know, where, what? Uh, okay. Yeah. It's with the, the story. Mm. <laughs> what story? <laughs> like the, uh, the, the 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 film itself. You know, uh, the, yeah. the the script. You know, it's the script. Yeah. Yeah. No, I say what script because I think uh, a lot of people. Um, uh, see different things in this in the story right, but okay, um yeah. but this story um because first i wanted to uh, i talk about my grandmother and uh, mm-hmm. and um and first i had a, a whole all this story about her mm-hmm. but then uh, my grandfather died and then uh, there was the the question of this uh castle where he lived with my grandmother and uh the question was what is going to become with this castle Maybe it's it's going to uh, that. Maybe it's not going to stay in the family, and so I I thought it was urgent to make a movie there in this in this place mm-hmm. before it you know <laughs> yeah, goes yeah. away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, um, and also because I saw how my grandmother you know uh, got along with the mourning of uh, of her men and so uh i wanted to talk about that because uh, you know the uh, things between her and me got closer because of this and i saw how actually uh, i got a lot of things from her even though we don't say things you know so it, it's about the transgenerational you know how things go through generations without even you know it you know mm-hmm. and um and I wanted also to talk about femininity and uh, especially in this social uh, environment, the aristocracy where she, where she was, where she lived in, you know, and how it's, you know, difficult to, um, to live there as a woman uh, and be completely free of a lot of social pressure. And so it's how the movie is talking about a woman that wants to... Uh, get the weight of this pressure of herself, you know, and fly away in a, in, in a, in a sense. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, th- no, there is a lot uh, to it, absolutely. Um, mm-hmm. But I think that what makes it a, a really well-layered piece of work. You mm-hmm. can get more when you're watching it, lots yes. of different things out of it. And I, I hope, I, I get the impression that that was somewhat intentional from from. From you, so you want, obviously you've just spoken about the lots of different things that you wanted to bring into it, and I think I think it was captured very well. Um, mm-hmm. One of the things which I think really helped um, helped with all those elements was the location itself, which you used. Now, is this something that you knew about before? What, this was this the castle that you're speaking to? Is that referring yes. about this is the this is the place. This is the castle. So I. Wow. I I went a lot there. That's where mm. I spend all my weekends, and uh, you know, I, I know very good this place. Fantastic! Oh, it's wow. also a, it's a real character of the movie, it's, mm. you know, yeah. and I wanted to be in it as a character. Mm. Excellent. Yeah. No, it's it's it, it it's such a beautiful place, and I yes. think uh, <laughs> we found in in our own um, films that getting the location correct is absolutely vital to mm-hmm. making everything feel authentic so i think you did a fantastic job and you used the resources available to you very well um, mm-hmm. especially now that we know that it was the the one that, the castle that was in your your family so you knew it so brilliant work yeah excellent stuff um so i with, with that being a, a a benefit to making this film the location that you had was there anything that was particularly difficult when making the film I suppose in regards to um, the art direction, as that was the award that you won for, was anything that was challenging, would you say? Uh, yes. Uh, well, in this location, uh, it was challenging because, you know, very practically, uh, when we wanted to put light in some rooms, it was mm. too high, so we couldn't we couldn't put lights outside. We had to do it in this in the in the chamber in the rooms they sell and itself mm. so sometimes it wasn't that easy for the uh how do you say the one that makes the image uh, <laughs> how do you say it the uh, cinematographer it yeah. yeah cinematographer yeah. sometimes it wasn't easy for him but yeah. um for for me it was more working with my grandmother because she is the one that's play uh, that plays her own uh, character you know mm. Mm. and yeah. it wasn't Totally easy because she um, is uh, sometimes she loses her mind <laughs> a bit, and so I had to, 
uh, ask her 10 times the same thing, uh, not look there, look there. And, and then during the reshooting, I had to talk to her, you know, please look there more and not, not do that, come back to your place. And she was completely lost sometimes. <laughs> so for me, that was a difficult part. Um, and yeah, it surprised me because I thought it was be more easy, but actually, yes, uh, it scared me to work with her. And it was like the, the moments that I was more stressed, it, it was when I, I had to work with her. I, we, because we never knew what it was going to happen, mm -hmm. <laughs> what she was going to do. <laughs> yeah. No, and, and also, I think it, what wasn't easy is working with all these uh, different characters because it was my grandmother she's an old lady and then there was a little girl and then there's another girl and then there's an, another young guy and then there are two um a, a mother and a and a and a doctor and, and they all were from different ages and uh so that was not easy to to deal with um i had to yeah we had to be very conscious about every moment that we were uh, shooting the differences between the moments and the different uh, way to work with these different people mm -hmm. yeah how did you find all the uh, the the actors that you used with was it um uh, did you hold hold auditions for them and did people apply or was it through um the place where you studied or uh, something else no it was the auditions mm -hmm. okay so for everyone, there were auditions. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's, as, as daunting as it can be, I suppose, for the actors, it is probably the best way because then you get to, f to see if the, how they capture the character. So yeah, it's probably the best mm -hmm. way for sure. Um, yeah. yeah. So what does, um, uh, what, what does the future hold for The Bird Room? You know, what do you, what do you plan to do with uh, the film? Is it, is it sort of going on the festival circuit? Um, you know, is there going to be a sequel? You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I hope it's going to be on festivals, yeah. but it's not easy, and I, I was surprised that you took the movie because um, because it's long; it's twenty seven mm. minutes, and mm -hmm. so it's not easy to program. I guess for festivals, it mm. take like mm. almost two two places for, for yeah. films. So. Sure. Um, and I saw this already because I started, you know, sending to festivals, but a lot, lot replied that it's not possible because it's too long or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, I think people are not maybe not used to see that kind of movie and it's it's quite slow and it's, mm -hmm. yeah, and personal. So maybe it's, well, yeah. whatever. But um, so I hope it's going to be on festival, but I think it's not it's not an easy movie to to program for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. I think, I think uh, in front of the the right audiences, though, um, it, it really sort of um, stands out, mm. um, sort of ir irregardless of the of the length of the film itself. I mean, just um, I mean, personally, I found the concept of it sort of fascinating. That you know, I, I you know, it did take me till till the end to realise that uh, the three characters were it was all one person. Mm -hmm. You know, it was it was telling the story. Um, and I loved that. I thought that was that was mm -hmm. great. Um, and put, throw into the mix the fact that you know it's it is so beautifully filmed with with a great set design. Um, costumes were great. Cinematography, the color, it, it sort of brings out a real vibrance in in the film, mm -hmm. uh, which was really nice and, and refreshing to see. Um, so I think. The, the right festivals will will take that up like that because mm -hmm. it, it it does if you take out uh, the um the question of the length of the film mm -hmm. it's brilliant in all in all those aspects mm. um which is well i mean that's what we saw in it you Definitely. know that's why it, it it did win that so okay well yeah. thank you for that <laughs> <laughs> that's all right <laughs> yeah, exactly. it was really really good mm. um just, just a quick point, I, I suppose, because you mentioned about the, the costumes, mm. and obviously we've heard about the location which you used. Were the costumes? Did you have to hire them, or was did you have them already? Or some we had it already because yeah, mm. we have a lot of costumes in the mm -hmm. in the you know upper. How do you say the most uh, uh, high level of the house? <laughs> 
Oh, uh, the, the, the attic. Like attic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there we have a lot of old stuff. So we found yeah, a lot uh-huh. there. But uh, our costume designer, uh, she was, uh, mm-hmm. she had some too, and she, uh, I think she rented some from theaters also because it's not, uh-huh. yeah, quite easy to find also. But uh, yeah, so we had uh, some and some she, uh, she mm-hmm. found it somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, um, just a, out of curiosity, how um, many days or how long were you in production for? Uh, you mean shooting? Uh, yeah, shooting mainly. Yeah. Shooting was eight days. Mm. Eight days. Okay. Eight days. Yeah. 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 And we stayed there in this in this uh, in this castle, and we slept there with the whole uh, team. Wow. So it was a magical time, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Oh, that's so good. Oh. We need to have that castle next time. Yeah, I think we do. Really. Yeah, I think we're, we're missing out. We uh, we need to film at a castle. For yeah, our next I, think so. <laughs> I think so. Um, oh, well, it's yeah, it's, it's really good to hear. I mean, you've used the resources that you had available really well. Um, I suppose now then, I, uh, it'd be good to know what's next for you. I mean, you've finished your studies, um, and are you going on to do more projects, more make more films? Yeah, for, for the moment, I, I have to admit it's a, it's a sort of um, transition time, and I don't, mm. I, I want to make more movies, but for the moment, mm. I'm quite of a you know feeling how it's going to happen all this because yeah, there is this movie that I'm sending to festivals, and then then I'm just like um, uh, <laughs> going out this comfort zone we had at school, mm. you know, and then suddenly yeah. I'm on my own, and then I'm, I have mm-hmm. to build everything on my own so so i'm now still a little bit like uh you know i don't really know where i am <laughs> right now yeah. Yeah. but uh yeah i have more projects now but they're only in an embryo fi- phase only in mm-hmm. my head <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. um and uh, i i'm i'm going to make a video clip and i never did it in my life so you know for a music music video uh, mm-hmm. And yeah. I don't know how it's going to happen, but uh, I, we're going to find out. So that's quite exciting. It's a whole new way of uh, telling a story. Um, yes, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's more this. Oh, yeah, and I have to write my uh, thesis, my, you know, memoir, final mm-hmm. thesis for my mm-hmm. school. So I'm not completely yeah. finished yet. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Very busy then. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> so what would be the end goal for for yourself you know sort of you see yourself in 20 30 years time in filmmaking what would you sort of like to say you've achieved you know have your own netflix series or see so you you know something like that okay well um it's a good question i ask it a lot <laughs> to myself <laughs> mm, but I think maybe um, a time ago I wanted to, you know, be a great filmmaker and everything. But now mm-hmm. I, I'm, I know what kind of movies I want to make for sure. Mm-hmm. And I see it's not easy to make this kind of movies because mm-hmm. uh, there's not, it's, it's not going into any, uh, you know, uh, how do you say? It, you cannot really rank it. It's not like uh, I'm doing uh, doing a drama or I'm doing comedy uh, yes. or, yeah. or I'm doing. It's you know, it's not a genre, and it's uh, between a little bit between documentary, a little bit between, between fiction. I want to use mm-hmm. other mm-hmm. ways of telling stories, and even the you know the the script wasn't written like a script. It was mostly images I just wrote and even draw only mm-hmm. <laughs> drawings. Mm-hmm. So oh, wow. it's it was really exploring um, you know a way of making movies and uh, I see that actually it's not really uh, you know easy to produce because people are not used to to see things like that and so maybe uh, and one thing is I, I know I want to make it like that mm-hmm. you know yeah. to, to continue exploring and uh, so I think maybe in, I want to to um, make place for this kind of movies uh, and maybe later uh, produce also this kind of mo- movies for okay. people that wants to explore more and it's not mm-hmm. ex- it, but they can't they can't uh, call it an ex- experimental film or other uh, mm-hmm. but it's not normal as well so maybe i just want to make place for this and um and fight a little bit for an- an- another 
another way to make things, you know, yeah. just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, and I have other project like, uh, projects like um, making uh, residences. Do you call it like that? Like uh, uh, invite people to come to a place and, and write a script, for example, for a week, a week long somewhere. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, yeah. Um probably maybe a course or or something like that yeah writing oh, okay, okay possibly yeah yeah, yeah. We, we have we have st similar things here but there that sounds great I mean, it's not it's not um it's not a common thing to have so that mm. seems really good yeah yes making also like a, a space like kind of a you know yeah for example in, oh, in this yeah. in this castle i could mm. uh, invite people to come for a week or two weeks that has a project mm. that have a project like like writing a script and that wants to make it there and because they can have a um uh, uh surrounding that are in a mm. that are doing creativity things mm -hmm. so you are boosted by you know the ones that are around you that yeah. also are creating things you know mm. so it's just yeah. like a, a place you could go to to create something uh, surrounded by other people that are also mm. create something so it's it's more okay. yeah. you know it yeah. gives you more um, uh, c um, it's more easy to find creativity to you know uh, make things yeah. <laughs> instead yeah. of being just on your own at your table for three year years because it's yeah, very long yeah. to write a movie <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh and yeah. and yeah and being on your own so it's just like places where you can meet things meet other people that are also creating mm -hmm. so, you know yeah that's yeah i see what you're saying mm -hmm. that, that that sounds fantastic as well and with the idea of it being for example in the castle where the surroundings are just so yeah, for inspiring example. it's yeah. it's uh I wish I could come. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know if brilliant. it's going in, to be in this castle because ca this castle, I don't know what is going to happen with it. But so, you know, some place like this, I think, especially some places like this, because these places, I think, are now uh, nowadays they are asking for projects. You know, it cannot mm -hmm. stay just places, empty places like the, such beautiful yeah. empty pla places. It's just stupid, I think. Mm -hmm. So, so it's it's a good thing. I, I think they are asking for projects. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Um, okay, well, we are unfortunately running quite closely to being out of time. Okay. Um, however, there was one final thing we wanted to ask, which is um, obviously you've spoken about the types of films you want to make. Is there something which inspires you to make these films? What inspires you the most to to fight for this different type of film? Is it, is it something personal to you or is it, is it just a desire to do something different? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it could just be because it, it's, you know, you, you find the stories interesting yeah. or, or anything. You just really, enjoy yeah. it, yeah. Um, first of all, because I'm, I think I'm not comfortable with mm, writing movies in a very classical okay. way just just this mm. and um Oop, apologies that's our alarm telling us the time so <laughs> my camera will <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, um uh yeah so i had to for this movie i really had to express uh it, tell the story in a different way for sure i had to find another way because i mm. i was i was just stuck in in writing something classical you know um but in in in, glo in a global way i i think it's what i'm searching for is uh something just sincere like i'm not searching searching for truth or anything i'm searching for something that is sincere and i can deal, um, share with others because it's sincere mm -hmm. so i it's not only personal it's it's about i think it's about sharing but something that is a it can be personal, but something that's just sincere and beauty. I'm always looking for beauty. <laughs> always. <laughs> Brilliant message and, um, and uh, mission to end on, I think. It's fantastic. Um, well, thank you very much for speaking to us, um, Noemi. And yeah, all the best for the future. I hope it goes well for you. Well, um, thank you. Is there very quickly a place where people can follow you? Um, maybe Instagram or, or another social media source? Uh, 
Yes, Facebook. So if you mm -hmm. go Facebook, I think it's called La Chambre aux Oiseaux in French. I don't know if you mm -hmm. can find it in with the bird room uh, or on Vimeo. You can see also just the trailer and Instagram. But Instagram, it's it's not very interesting what I posted okay. on Instagram. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Well, we do encourage people to to do that. And yeah, I'm I'm very interested in seeing how the future pans out for you and hopefully everything will uh, work out very well for you but thank you once again well thank yes. you and thank, thank you, thank you for, for your interest in the movie no, no problem so that was Naomi Desell uh, sponsoring her film The Bird Room uh, which won uh, Best Art Direction at the White Deer International Film Festival uh, where can you find more about this? Uh, you can look at the show notes on our website which is www.whitedeerfest.co.uk you can also access our social media pages, which, Mark? Yeah, uh, so we've got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, and of course YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube. Um, you can follow us by searching for White Deer Fest, nice and simple. Um, yeah, it'd be great to um, talk with you and just to, to network and get to know you better, so do make sure to follow that. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. If you want to be part of our festival experience, make sure you check out our Film Freeway page uh, to become part of the festival itself. Okay, yeah. And of course, do like, share and um, promote our podcast in any way you feel is best. Um, but yes, thank you so much for listening. Until next time. Take care. Bye.